Good morning, gang. Here's a quick little video I decided to draw up just to give you a little more clarity because we're interested in how to pick the perfect plaintiff. The perfect plaintiff is something that we're going to thrive on and we're going to have most of our success from the perfect plaintiff. Okay, here we go. Let's set the scene. Jerry loans Bill money. Bill is either unwilling or unable to repay Jerry. Jerry files a lawsuit. In small claims court, Jerry ultimately prevails and is awarded a final judgment. A judgment has been awarded by the court. It's not been satisfied, nor has it been assigned to another party. So that's where we're going to start. We're going to start with a uh, honest-to-God judgment that's entered that's going to allow us to move forward. And here's some of the types of plaintiffs. Well, I think I got them all covered, but let's see. Types of plaintiff, individuals. So individuals are good plaintiffs. Because most individuals, especially if they filed the lawsuit on their own, they're going to have a tough time collecting because they're not sure where to start, what to do. They'll get the the uh, defendant form seven point blah, blah, whatever it is to answer the questions, but those aren't going to get remor any nothing remarkable is going to be on those forms, and uh, I'm going to suggest that the majority of them are not going to be um, even filled out. Okay, so the individuals that are stuck, those are good for us. Uh, they're depending upon how old the judgment is, the individual might be a little more difficult to find, but listen, we got skip trace programs. We'll go ahead and find them. So the next favorite judgment should be a husband and a wife judgment against somebody else. Husband and wife gives us two people to try to locate. Hopefully they're still married. Um, hopefully they didn't get married, uh, where the wife changes her name again and we can't find her, but husband and wife would be a plaintiff. That would also be a good judgment to get. Uh, although dealing with husband and wife, you're going to have to find out who the decision maker is so they can pull the trigger for you. Dissolved corporations out of business. Just because a business has been dissolved in the state um, doesn't mean we can't collect a judgment uh, for them. The bet, what we'd have to do is you have to pull Sunbiz find an officer's name and there's several down there. Don't forget to look for the names of people that file the, uh, the corporate reports every year, because sometimes there's phone numbers. Sometimes there's more information in those corporate filings. So just because they're out of business doesn't mean that they can't be a good plaintiff for us. Dissolved corporations still in business. Uh, a business doesn't have to be active and current in the state all the time. If it gets dissolved, it can still run. Like for example, a tire shop could still run because they don't, they don't really have to do too much with the state. When you don't file your corporate report, it just means that you can't be a party to any lawsuit. I'm sure there's other consequences, but that's the main one in my mind is that you can't participate as a plaintiff or as a defendant, frankly. So, um, that we could still find them. They're probably could still be in business. We have to locate their location, things like that. But dissolved corporations are still very viable plaintiffs for us. And the last one is a current and active corporation. Let me just move my face so you can see the words better. Okay. Current and active corporations. Uh, those are good for us because they're easy to find. Uh, most likely, unless their business is that of collecting debt, they'll be very happy to hear from us. So those are the types of plaintiffs that we need to look for. Uh, notice I didn't put banks. Notice I didn't put credit card companies in there because that's not good enough for us. We can't, they're not going to be able to negotiate with us enough for us to make a profit off of them. So types of plaintiffs, individual, husbands and wife, dissolved corporations out of business, dissolved corporations still in business, and current and active corporations or businesses. Those are our favorite. See you again.